is the AWS Cloud Practitioner certification actually worth it? Now, if you're someone on a journey of learning AWS, you probably come across the Cloud Practitioner certification time and time again. Many people say it's a great starting point and that you need to pass the certification before doing anything else. But is the certification exam right for everyone? Well, for me, the answer was yes. I started my cloud learning journey by studying for the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam. It helps me understand the basics of the cloud, the AWS core services, and the best practices when it came to pricing, security, and architecting. But after getting five AWS certifications and working two years at AWS as a solutions architect, my perspective has definitely changed. I realized that the true value of the certification wasn't in passing the exam or getting a certified badge, but rather the foundational knowledge it provides and the pathways it opens up for further learning. Let's break this down a bit. So the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification is an entry-level certification. It examines the basics of AWS Cloud and here are some of the topics the AWS certification covers. The exam is 90 minutes long and has 65 multiple choice or multiple response questions. Now, is it enough to land you a job? Probably not. But if you're a beginner to the cloud, the certification will provide you with a structured learning path to learn the fundamentals. And so in order to determine whether this certification is right for you, here are the three factors to consider. The first one is your career goals and objectives. Does this certification align with your long-term career goals? The second factor is market demand and trends. Is the certification in demand in the world of cloud and artificial intelligence? And the third factor is cost and time investment. How much does this certification cost and is it worth the time investment? Let's start off with the first factor, which is career goals and objectives. If your goal is to become a solutions architect, a cloud engineer, or any other technical role that requires an understanding of AWS, then yes, the cloud practitioner certification is a great starting point. But just remember that the certification will only provide you with a foundational understanding of AWS services. In order to maximize your chances of landing a cloud job, you'll need to gain some hands-on experience. And one great way to gain this experience is by building cloud projects. This certification can also be quite useful for students and people working in non-technical roles. For students, you can use this certification to figure out whether you want to pursue a career in the cloud. And for those in non-technical roles like project management or sales, the certification can help you communicate better with technical teams in your company. For example, when I worked at AWS, it was recommended for everyone in the cloud sales team to get the cloud practitioner certification. This was to help them have better discussions with the AWS customers and also the solutions architects in the company. Okay, another factor is market demand and trends. Because if you're learning something, you want to make sure it's useful and relevant for the future, right? Well, with all the changes that have been happening recently with AI, it's really hard to predict what the future holds. But what I can say for sure is that right now, AWS skills are still in demand. AWS is the leading cloud provider with about 32% market share. And as more companies start to use cloud computing, the demand for professionals with AWS expertise will continue to grow. In fact, as of this year, more than 90% of Fortune 100 companies use AWS services. So if you're looking to learn the cloud, AWS is definitely the one I recommend going for. Keep in mind that this market demand is not just for technical roles. Even in non-technical roles, having a basic understanding of the cloud can be quite valuable. It can help you understand the larger IT strategy of your company and help you make more informed decisions. And who knows, maybe in 10 to 15 years, cloud engineers and solutions architects will be replaced by AI. But I do believe that humans will still be required in the tech industry to work alongside AI. And so cloud is still a good first step into a career in tech. The third factor I would consider is time and cost investment. The exam fee for the AWS Cloud Practitioner certification is around 100 USD. And compared to the other AWS certifications, this fee is relatively low. If you want to be strategic about it and save some money, you could go straight to a difficult certification. For example, the Solutions Arctic Associate. That way, instead of paying $250 for both exams, you would only be paying $150. However, if you're a complete beginner to the cloud, I wouldn't recommend doing that, since preparing for a harder exam straight away might discourage you from studying for the certification. But if you feel comfortable with skipping a few steps, you could definitely go straight to the associate level certifications. In terms of time investment, the Cloud Practitioner certification took me about three weeks or 16 hours of study. This again is quite low compared to the other certifications because just for comparison, the Solutions Arctic professional took me about 100 hours of studying. So for the 16 hours of study, here's how my time was broken down. I spent the first hour setting up an AWS account and trying out the different services. Then I spent 11 hours going through video lectures of a Cloud Practitioner course on Udemy. And finally, before my exam, I spent another four hours doing practice exams. Now, this certification might be intimidating at the start, especially if you're new to AWS. But the 
good news is there are so many resources out there to help you get started. If you're interested in getting the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification, I would highly recommend checking out the AWS Cloud courses on Udemy. Udemy is an online learning platform with over 200,000 courses and 57 million students. I personally used this Udemy course taught by Stefan Marek and it taught me everything I needed to know to pass the exam. Stefan has a really unique teaching style. He's able to break down technical topics into a way that's concise and easy to understand. For the practice questions, I recommend this set of Cloud Practitioner exams created by Tutorials Dojo. There are five practice exams in this course with 340 questions altogether, which is more than enough to help you get familiar with the types of questions that will come up in the actual exam. Another great resource from Udemy is this Learn AWS in a Weekend course, which is exactly what the title says, a course for you to learn AWS in just a weekend. This is great if you're not too sure whether you want to commit to learning AWS and it gives you a great taste into the world of cloud computing. But yeah, Udemy has become one of the go-to places for learning AWS Cloud. So if you're interested in checking out their courses, I'll put links in the description below to a list of my top recommended AWS Cloud courses. They offer huge discounts from time to time. So make sure you take a look at the links below to see if there's a course that might be useful for you. All right, so after taking those three factors into consideration, career goals, market trends, and time and cost investment, here are the pros and cons of getting the AWS Practitioner exam. The biggest advantage of taking this certification is that it serves as a foundation for future learning. It provides a really solid base for you to pursue more certifications and gives you that stepping stone to gain more specialized knowledge later on. Another pro is market demand. Given that AWS has a significant market share, there's a strong demand for IT professionals to understand cloud, more specifically AWS cloud. It also increases your employability when you add the certification onto your resume. And finally, the certification is relatively low in cost and time investment compared to the other certifications. This makes it more accessible for those of you who are just starting out on your cloud journey and exploring the field of AWS. Plus, there's so many resources out there for you to prepare for the exam. However, there's also a few cons or drawbacks that come with this certification. The AWS Cloud Practitioner certification by itself does not provide enough technical depth. It only covers the AWS services at a very basic level and won't provide you with the technical detail you need for the more technical roles. But honestly, this certification isn't designed to do that. It's not designed to make you an AWS expert. The exam covers a broad range of cloud topics and gives you a glimpse of what you can expect if you want to go deeper into AWS cloud. So I'd recommend taking this into consideration and try to dive deeper, either by getting more AWS certifications or building real world projects. Another drawback is that this certification doesn't help you stand out as much compared to if you were to do a higher level certification. For example, if you have the Solutions Arctic Associate Certification or the Developer Associate Certification instead. And so getting this certification by itself usually would not be enough. But just remember that every expert was once a beginner and this certification is a great starting point for beginners. So overall, I believe the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification is worth it in many types of situations, but it also just depends on what your career and learning goals are. My personal opinion is that everyone in IT should consider getting this certification because at the speed in which cloud is growing, having a foundational level certification will definitely come in handy. To get started, don't forget to check out the courses below on Udemy and let me know your thoughts on this certification in the comments below. Do you think it's worth it and would you recommend it to others? Alright, bye for now. 